five more minutes. Come on now. guys we are up we are up boss man call woke me up get the fuck out of bed man <laughs> now we're making some coffee gotta make the coffee in the morning man here up by uh the coffee maker there brew it away right gotta get that go-go juice this morning gotta get that coffee man but uh we'll be meeting up or uh last night i met up with another driver we're here in uh mountain view idaho and uh, as i was pulling in backing in here on the dang radio hey rob hey man you need some help backing that dang reefer trailer in that hole so, well, who the hell is this man <laughs> Turned out it was the flying Hawaiian, Jerry Saza. And uh, they come over and uh, we went out and had dinner. We walked across the street there, had dinner. And a uh, pretty good little restaurant over at AJ's restaurant. Had some pretty good burgers and sat around. And talked about trucking, man. Talked about how fast them trucks go. Dispatchers crappy loads good loads YouTube drivers all that shit so we had a pretty good time let me make my coffee here guys hang on all right we got a coffee and I got a morning cigarette how about you I've been doing pretty good on the slowing down on the smoking thing I really have been uh, picking up my vape again but I'm a sucker for coffee and a cigarette in the morning man that's my vice you know what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do about it man we gotta have some vices out here but uh you know making coffee in the truck guys uh, man I'm just diesel lifed out this morning I'm guess I'm just a spokesperson for diesel life today <laughs> didn't even do that on purpose how about that um making coffee on the truck guys uh i calculated this out a while ago just something as simple as making coffee on the truck for you coffee drinkers out there uh, you know how many cop how many cups of coffee do you guys drink every day you know one or two uh it can add up you know at these dang truck stops it'd be two dollars a cup you know if you get one a day or two a day do the math on that for five days a week five or six days a week and uh multiply that by the year you know figure out your your coffee expenses for the year um do that math real quick for you coffee drinkers out there that that buy truck stop coffee uh it's a lot of money man it's a lot of money um at two two dollars a cup <clears throat> one a day for five weeks for a year it's about what 520 bucks you know um versus a little 20 dollar walmart coffee maker uh, some coffee and, and some filters and some water you know um i'll probably save save 250 bucks 300 bucks a year um just making coffee right here in the truck so anyway that's that um small small things to do out here guys um we're gonna get rolling today's a, a good day uh we are alive and we are in mountain view idaho um we're gonna meet up with a buddy of ours at rst uh that installs epic view direct tv units um in the trucks uh our, all the rst trucks have uh they come with uh, the epic view uh direct tv package and all that and uh, RST pays for it. it's all included in the truck uh, among other things but anyway uh, this Lone Star didn't have it in it and uh, he didn't have a chance to to have it installed before I got a hold of it so I'm gonna meet up with the dude up here at the uh, Flying J in Caldwell Idaho 
and he comes out he's gonna come out and bring all his equipment and <clears throat> hook it up so we're getting epic view we're getting some TV installed today in the truck with a, a million channels how about that Woody be watching TV but uh, I got a little TV but uh, it broke it fell over and broke uh, about a week and a half ago so I've had no TV what was I how do you survive without a TV <laughs> no I don't really watch it I don't even watch a whole lot of TV to be honest with you man I got other things to do but uh, anyway we're gonna get rolling uh, I gotta clean these dang bugs off the windshield here it's driving me nuts you know, look at all these bugs on the windshield there so uh, we'll go over to fuel island there scrape these bugs off and we'll get rolling all right look at them bugs let's go take care of that bug problem You know, I've, uh, after switching over to Reaper here, uh, I basically kind of give up on the audio quality of these videos, guys, so, because every time I start filming or, or doing anything, the dang Reaper, the Reaper unit kicks on back there and uh, makes a whole bunch of noise, so, um, this is life, man, this is trucking. Um, keeping it real out here So there might be some noises going on, you know That's trucking deal with it Let's see if we can uh, Find a spot here scrape some of these bugs off I don't need fuel I just need to borrow the bug scraper right quick. bugs let's go let's go to Caldwell Idaho get this epic view installed how about that listen to some Dave Gore Dave Gore's a good dude uh, met him quite a few times and uh, he released this album at uh, Matt's 2017. Good guy, man. Really good guy. Yeah, man. We're trucking. Let's go trucking. A cloudy day. Uh, we got uh, about 58 degrees is what it's saying on the dash here. 58 degrees out. Little clouds here and there. Good day for trucking, right? Let's go. Yeah. Take this Lone Star for a little ride. I love this truck, man. Beautiful truck, beautiful truck. The only problem I'm having with her is uh, she's a little bit heavy, and uh, I gotta watch my fuel on the uh, on the heavier loads. I really gotta watch the fuel. 
uh, or else we'll go overweight. So, but that's where we're uh, professionals out here, and we know all our axle weights, know how to slide tandems, know your shit, you know? You know your shit out here, and uh, get to know your equipment. I'm still uh, uh, learning this truck. I, I pretty much got it figured out now, but uh, learning how she likes to run and uh, how much fuel I can get on board. So, just gotta be professionals. So, all right guys, we're gonna ride. We'll see you in Caldwell. All right guys, here we go. We're in Caldwell, Idaho uh, at Flying J. Just met up with Sean here with Epic View and uh, put a Facebook post out there a little while ago showing what's going on and uh, some of y'all had some questions. I wrote them down here and uh, we can go over this with Sean here right quick. Um, one of the first questions was uh, basically what does what does Epic View offer? What, offer? what is it? We offer direct TV for the fleets, the semi trucks uh, across the country. Um, okay. It's actually a premium package. Uh, it's quite attractive. Uh, we typically cater to uh, uh, fleets of 20 or more trucks, but we're working on an owner operator program here that should be out in the next two to three weeks. So, which will allow a single owner operator to to get the package. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. So is this equipment, is it, you purchase the equipment or is it like a lease? It's all included thing? in the price. So we have two packages. Uh, one is a in motion system, which enables you to view your satellite TV or direct TV going down the road or record movies while you're, well, you don't want to review it while you're going down right. the road, <laughs> but you can record movies yep. while you're going down the road. Right. And the other is, a, and that's $59 a month and that includes all the cost of equipment. Okay. And uh, at the end of the five-year contract, then uh, it uh, it uh, is just it's our equipment, or you can renew the lease or whatever. Okay. And all the all the product is guaranteed uh, during that time. If anything goes bad at the receivers or the dome itself, we hmm. we take care of that. All right. Um, and yeah, if you went out and purchased this on your own, it's about twelve hundred dollars worth of equipment. Oh wow. So yeah. yeah, and the and the beautiful thing is is the price is uh, is at that fifty nine or forty nine dollars a month for the for the length of the contract. It's not like your typical home system where you right. pay this price and then next year it right, know, right. goes over a hundred bucks. Yeah, and we all see stuff, that. So. Yeah, but yeah, and then the stationary unit system is where you just turn it on when you get where you're going, view it. You can record one show while you're watching another, or record two shows while you're sleeping. Okay, and it runs forty nine dollars a month. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, what's the the minimum fleet size? I know Joe Joe Cox there. If you're watching this, buddy, that was one of your questions. He's got a small fleet, and I was wondering what the minimum fleet size is. Typically, we have 20 as the minimum fleet size. Uh, I think they rolled. Actually, they did roll out a program here a couple months ago, which was a small fleet program. Right. It allowed you to uh, get into the program, but because Direct TV has certain parameters. I think that it might have jumped the subscription price up uh, ten bucks a month or something. I okay. I can't remember something like that. All right. So you can, we can talk with the salesman so, to find that out. Cool. Uh, yeah, we got cost of equipment. Um, it's all included. Right. Um, what's the install? How much to get this? How much are you charging to do this right now? <laughs> well, I t typically across the country, most places are going to charge about two hundred dollars to install. Uh, okay. Of course, fleets with their own mechanics. I mean. They do it and sure. absorb the cost, and, sure. and you know they pay their mechanics and all that. But okay. typically, if you were going to go anywhere to have it done, we're actually working with uh, T8. And I'm going out to TA next week, okay. and it looks like they're going to be. In, I'm going to train all their trainers, and it looks like they're going to be installing at the TAs across the country. Hmm. And I think their target price is somewhere around two to three hundred. I that's not solidified yet, but okay. but you know it's some just plan on two or three hundred dollars. Cool. That's kind of average. Right on. So you're the guy that goes around and trains these guys. I'm the corporate trainer. There you go. There you go, guys. How about it? <laughs> so good deal. Um, yeah, I'll put your uh, I'll put your contact info, right. uh, email or whatever you, you know, and uh, I'll put that uh, information down in the description of the video. Uh, so if any of you guys are interested in uh, 
get an epic view installed in your truck uh get hold of this guy through the email and uh we'll see what we can put together for you yeah we'll get you taken care of all right there all you right. go well we'll let you get back to work man thank you all right thanks all right. boss see you, all right guys man what a busy day <laughs> shit uh we got the direct tv uh, epic view installed uh, just in the nick of time i had a load to uh deliver uh, about 20 miles down the road we uh got it all hooked up and uh ended up blowing a fuse in the sleeper here uh at the last minute but uh because i had to go i had to really go i had to put a boogie on it and haul ass and get this load off but uh, we figured it out it wasn't anybody's fault it was just it happened you know um not a big deal but uh we got it all hooked up we're good to go got my load delivered uh, back at the truck stop gonna chill for a little while and uh, man, Look at this look at this relic. I pulled out of my my clothes drawer here. Check that out <laughs> But uh, let me take you outside and uh, show you how they did the install on the uh, on the satellite dish there. Hang on All right, here we are in the catwalk uh, Pretty standard install, you know uh, this Lone Star is a mid-roof with a uh, top cap on it, so we had to uh, put some quarter-inch uh, aluminum strips there to kind of make a bridge, right? Um, let me step over here. Yeah, that's about the best view I can get for, for you guys. Um, pretty simple. I had to cut out a nacho up there at the top fairing and uh just to make everything fit right not a big deal but uh pretty decent install i must say just ran the wires down and uh down the fairing there and uh there's a plug down on the bottom of the sleeper let's see if we can show that down here in the bottom of the sleeper hang on uh so he just ran it and zip tied it and I uh, ran it through that plug there. So it should be all right. But uh, I'll show you the inside here in just a minute. All right, guys, here we are. Look at that. We got TV. <laughs> all right. Uh, basic uh, direct TV, uh, HD DVR. Uh, we got one terabyte of uh, hard drive right there. Uh, regular uh direct tv remote tv remote uh tv remote direct tv remote and a book on uh how to do all this stuff so um uh, pretty cool package pretty cool package um straightforward install um they put those uh oh i forget what they're called now uh riv nuts screw nuts something uh yeah riv nuts i believe it's kind of like a rivet that goes in the wall and uh on the internationals on this top hole here there's a button that holds in this panel right uh, i took that that button out and then enlarged the hole and then put one of those rib nuts in there bolted that down and then drilled a hole uh, a brand new hole down at the bottom and um works out pretty good i guess in these internationals right there at that seam uh there's a stud you know um so it makes it really sturdy so pretty solid install there so there you go uh, i got my my uh my whole dvd player man that thing's got a lot of miles on it and uh, as usual you know it's kind of dark but uh the standard issue of jumbled up wires uh, a lot of that's from my dvd player and, and all the extra stuff i got but i got everything into a power strip here oh it's kind of dark um so everything's on a power strip be able to turn everything on and off right there and uh they include uh the wind guard uh, razor antenna which was pretty cool uh, I don't know if that's included in all the packages I, I forgot to ask him that but that's what was included in this package um, they said yeah no it's all that's all part of the deal man so I don't know if that's in, in every package but um, that's pretty cool and that's going to be just to get my local channels um, you know you guys know that um, you know regular over the air uh, TV channels it is an amplified uh, antenna so I'll show you the back of the TV here um, it's, I got to clean up these wires guys we were in a really big hurry um, Sean did a beautiful job 
um, we were just we were in a rush so but this is a USB uh, amplified um, amplified there you go there's the wind guard windguard.com there you go um, amplified antenna so we were in a hurry I had to deliver load man I had to go trucking and uh, so we did the best we could but Sean at Epic View did a wonderful job I give him an A++ for uh, the quality and for the product itself and uh, customer service. He was a cool guy, man. He was a really cool guy. So there you go, guys. That's my day in a nutshell. I'm tired, had a long day. Um, I'm going to go inside, find something to eat, and come back and uh, watch some TV and crash out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tried doing a little bit something different with this video. Kind of uh, documenting my day. Doing something a little bit different here. So, um, Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, talk with Sean there on installing the TV. And uh, there you go guys. I'm going to relax. Watch the TV. I haven't had a TV in the truck for about a week and a half, two weeks. So, Alright guys, we'll talk to you later.